How's it going guys? My name's Wilson. Before we start this video, I would like to give a shout out to my new sponsor Mojo. Have you ever wondered what it's like if there was a stock market for athletes, a platform where you can invest in your favorite players you believe in, put your money where your mouth is, and truly believe they will be performing well in real time, you can get rewarded? The Mojo app does just that. Mojo is a sports stock market app where you can invest in players based on their careers. The better they play, the more money you make. The Mojo app just recently recently added a list of over 120 NBA players along with having the NFL. Each player's market price moves based on their in-game performances. You must be age 21 or over to bet and be located in the state of New Jersey under its current license to trade. But if you're outside of New Jersey, you can still download the app and browse through it. For a first deposit bonus of $125, use the code WILSONSIZE75. I shared the link to the app on the description below. Once again, use code WILSONSY75. Now on to the video. Super teams are never to be assumed guaranteed champs. If there's one thing we learn about three big time stars teaming up, it can end before their fall on chemistry even starts. The Brooklyn Nets most recently appeared to be the next NBA dynasty, anticipated to win multiple titles, only to end up playing less than 20% of a full season together, an absolute travesty of a disappointment. Now the team back to their okay ways, like a bow again, might win consecutive games here and there, but long ways to go before being true contenders. Here are other super disappointing big threes in NBA history. 10. New Orleans Anthony Davis Drew Holiday and DeMarcus Cousins. Having the two best bigs in the league and Holiday one of the better point guards, team was even viewed as contenders. Adding Boogie late 2017, season already a wrap. AD and Boogie's all-time record 31 and 28 overall, team 31 and 25 before Cousins suffered a career-changing Achilles injury. AD put up 28 and 11, Cousins 25 and 3, over 5 assists, Holiday 19 a game. The 10-game stretch before Cousins' injury, team went 8 and 2, beat Chris Paul and James Harden's unstoppable Rockets, impossible to say if the Pels with a healthy Cousins would have been better off than with the addition of stretch for Nikola Miritich. Team ended up sweeping Dame's Blazers without Boogie. While AD, Holiday, and Rondo dominated, Pels realized Cousins not really needed anymore. Despite offering him two years 40, DeMarcus been on five different teams since signing for minimum deals. 9. Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, and James Harden OKC. Although they were super young, the absolute travesty this decision of Sam Presti wanting to save money by trading their 6th man of the year for Kevin Martin and random guys in return still haunts the franchise to this day. So much to be left desired, dominated the West, eliminated the Mavs, Lakers and Spurs, the three powerhouses of the last decade. It seemed like the conference was OKC's for the taking. Durant arguably the second best player in the league, Russell Westbrook being the second time All-Star average over 23 a game in the top 10 discussion, the biggest what if in recent times. All that talent built through the draft and not through free agency. When the Red Hot Spurs went up 2-0, won 20 straight games dating back to regular season play, OKC considered too young, too inexperienced, only for the big three to annihilate older San Antonio. Even Serge Ibaka turned into prime Kevin Garnett out there had a perfect game 4, being the defensive player runner up, hard and stagger game 5, and coming back down 18 in game 6, 23, 23 and 22 years old, ran into a motivated prime LeBron, many label OKC slight favorites due to dismantling San Antonio in 4 straight, Harden played like crap, a non-factor most games, a controversial no call game 2 down 2 on a Durant missed jumper with 10 ticks left, Russ Westbrook committing a dumb foul, game 4 up 3, Despite the loss, time's still supposed to be on OKC's side, but Harden never truly replaced by another star. The Rain and Westbrook suffered 2014 and 2016 conference finals losses, only to lead to 2016 free agency. That shocked the entire basketball landscape. 8. The Brooklyn Nets Not their so-called super team with old Garnett and Pierce. The 237 and 36 at the time, but the trio of Devin Williams, Joe Johnson, and Brooke Lopez, a disgruntled D. Will, consider a top two point guard drawing his turmoil with Jerry Sloan in Utah. Franchise trading away their star, the struggling Nets couldn't ask for anyone better. 12 wins in 2010, paired up with excellent low post center Brooke Lopez, only for the seven footer to miss all but five the 2012 season. D. Will, a free agency. 
eyed heavily by the Mavs, Brooklyn made a huge move to acquire six-time All-Star Joe Johnson. D. Will heavily underachieved, dealt with nagging angle injuries. Lopez named a first-time All-Star, 49 wins in 2013, lost to the underdog Bulls round one without Derrick Rose. Only after did the team package their future for the two aging Celtics, replace PG Carlissimo with coach Jay Kidd. Lopez only played 17 games in 2014, Nets just 44 wins, disappointing second round exit to Miami. D. Will and Johnson declined the following year, massive disappointing time. Number 7, Carmelo Anthony Tyson Chandler, Amari Stoudemire, a win or bust season, 2012, expectations in New York haven't been this high for over a decade. Stoudemire played like an MVP candidate before Melo's arrival the season before. Tyson Chandler came up winning a title for Dallas, drew a sign and trade, needed to help with the defense. The three started off an awful 7-13 record, chemistry issues, Melo not liking the Tony style, locker room turmoil between the two, 10 and 15 before Melo's groin injury, but the emergence of Linsanity took over. A match made in heaven for D'Antoni's system. Knicks went from 8 and 15 to 16 and 16 all of a sudden. Also added J.R. Smith 18 and 6 to end the season. While D'Antoni fired in March, Lynn suffered a meniscus injury, needing season ending surgery. Back in contention talk, Mike Woodson, the new coach. Those early losses too unbearable. Having to play the second seed, Miami Heat, rookie Shumper toward his ACL. Stoudemire punched the fire extinguisher after game's two loss, fell in five games. The future still appears bright, but Amari with multiple injuries quickly became a shell of himself, a role player. It was all Melo's team from 2013 on, 54 wins, Chandler became first time all-star, won one playoff series versus the aging Celtics, the old heads on the roster broke down by the playoffs, 2013, last time Melo played in the playoffs in the Knicks uniform, 4 losing seasons to follow. Number 6, OKC with Russ Westbrook having Paul George and trading for 10 time all-star Carmelo Anthony, Western Conference Finals or bust, supposed to contend with Golden State. After Durant left, Westbrook made history, won the MVP, attracted attention to making a trade for Paul George, gave up Oladipo and the young Sabonis, and only having to give up Ennis Kanter a second and Doug McDermott for 33-year-old Melo. Both PG and Anthony came from lack of postseason success last couple years. George getting the benefit of the doubt back-to-back -back first round exits, stuck on not so great rosters. While Melo heavily ridiculed in New York, the expectations were Melo finally surrounded by star players, he can turn into Olympic Melo. Even quickly rejected the idea of coming off the bench. Hey P, they said I gotta come off the bench. <laughs> Both George and Anthony struggled all season. Career lows in points and field goal percentage for Anthony. George an awful stretch too. Team just won 48 games, one more than just last season. Same record with the Pacers with Oladipo, who was supposed to be rebuilding. Westbrook a chance of submitting himself as a true all-time great when it was his time to win. Averaged the triple-double twice. A first-round series that should have been a cakewalk. Got the four seed only for the Australian trash-talking Joe Ingles to get into Paul George's head. Ricky Rubio getting into Russ's head and Melo unplayable, especially having to guard the quicker rookie Donovan Mitchell, an absolute travesty of a season. The three shot under 41% for the series, playoff P became playoff PP. Game 6, horrendous 2 of 16 shooting, 5 points, a warm up game for Pandemic P. While Russ got 45 and 46 the last two games, a little too late to make up for his awful games 2 to 4. Best player all series, rookie Donovan Mitchell. Things ended so poorly, whether Melo could still make an impact in the NBA. NBA, cut after 10 games with the 2019 Rockets, out the league for a full year. The PG and Russ era ended after a Dame Lillard bomb, the worst possible outcome to happen for these Thunders in the Russ Paul George era. The 2013 Lakers with Kobe Nash and Dwight Howard, three Hall of Famers, while Brian and Howard considered top 5 players in the league at the time, if you include Gasol, the four all playing together went a brutal 8 and 14. Everything simply went wrong, from Kobe carrying the team to the postseason after having a 17 and 25 record to tearing the Achilles, Howard still recovering from back surgery, Nash's leg injury, second game missed the next 24, from firing Mike Brown to hiring the controversial Mike 
Mike D'Antoni over the greatest coach all time to Jerry Buss passing away February 18, swept round one by San Antonio, who led the Lakers 179 minutes that series compared to LA 6, outscored LA 75 points total those games, being the oldest team in the league, Gasol and Nash missed 33 and 32 games each. From having the second highest title odds, the whole season was a shit show from start to finish. 4. The Houston Rockets, Hakeem Olajuwon, Clyde Drexler, and Charles Barkley. Having no more chance to win in Phoenix, traded to the Rockets for many role players including Sam Gasell and Robert Ory, teaming up with another former MVP and two-time champ Hakeem Olajuwon and one-time champ Clyde Drexler, all of whom were capable of leading their teams to the finals in their primes, Dream and Chuck both 33, turned 34 middle of the season, Drexler already 35, even without the round amount of rebound, Rockets still consider a playoff caliber team, all the pressure for Chuck Chan to win it all seemed like the perfect hungry star. Team started a blistering 21-2 overall, but won just 57 games, ran through young KG's Wolves, and knocked off defending Western Conference champ Seattle in a showdown versus the Jazz. A Stockton game winner buzzer beater eliminated Barkley's hopes of ever winning a title, the most memorable moment in Jazz playoff history in Game 6. While Hakeem still unstoppable, he kept feeding the ball to a much slower and worse version of Chuck in the post. Barkley simply didn't age well. While 98 became Drexler's final season, all all three average under 20 points a game, 500 record, Hakeem missed 35 games due to knee surgery, 8 seed pushed the 62 win Jazz to a 5th game, only to put up 70 total points in elimination, Chuck in abysmal 9-5 for the series, Drexler then retired, Rockets ended up with Scottie Pippen, who didn't get along with Chuck, lost first round in 99 to the Lakers, the last few years of Barkley's career ended brutally. The failure of pairing Russell Westbrook with LeBron James and AD, hoping Russ still a solid floor general, seen as a superstar caliber guy after posting a triple-double with Washington instead of opting for others. LA went with the biggest name. It never worked out to begin with. The trio played 21 games together their first season, 11 and 10 overall. Combined with heavy injuries, Davis missed 42 games, LeBron sat out 26. Russ spent most of the year getting ridiculed, mocked, belittled, couldn't find a way to make things work. The most hostile time endured by any NBA player in recent memory, fans lost their mind every time Russ had a turnover or bricked the jumper, received more blame than anybody. Frank Vogel the one ended up getting fired before knowing it. Team was supposed to contend for a title, didn't even make the play in, a retirement home for many of those players currently out the league. Team gave no effort, Russ needing the ball, was never gonna drive playing with James. All that noise simply gotten to him. 25 and 27, his second season, accepted to come off the bench, but didn't quite make the team much better. His reputation ruined, many already skeptical and had their doubts, but didn't want to be honest, blinded by their love for the team. Westbrook teaming up with the injury prone Lakers team and playing with LeBron, the worst thing that could have ever happened to his career. 2. Will Chamberlain, Elgin Baylor, and Jerry West, the OG Big 3, arguably the NBA's first super team, assembled, all-time greats, 3 of the top 5 players for the decade, Lakers 0-6 to Russell Celtics in the finals all-time leading up to 69, landing the most dominant player the game has ever seen, should deliver the franchise's first title since the George Mikan days, but Wilt and coach Butch Van Bertikoff hated each other, butted heads all season, that bite them at the end, Chamberlain still capable of putting up 40 points when needed, averaged just 20 and a half points for the season, took less than 14 shots, limited to just 8.3 attempts in the finals, West attempted 28 a game, West and Elgin going 13 of 42 combining game 3, while Chamberlain just took 11 shots, hurt LA's chances going up 3-0, Will 3 for 8 in game 4, Elgin 2 of 14, resulted in an 89-88 loss when Will turned his ankle 5 minutes left in game 7. Coach refused to let him back in the game, saying the team be better off without him, led to arguably the most painful loss in Lakers history, the fact that Johnny Egan took 32 more shots than Will for the finals, an absolute travesty. 1970, massive injuries limited Will to 12 regular season games, Baylor just played 54, a show of himself, played 2 games in 71, played 9 games the following season before retiring, the Lakers then went on a 33 game winning streak and finally won it all, with new head coach Bill Sharman, the third star replacing Baylor's name, leading scorer Gil Goodrich, Elgin unfortunately remembered for being the most unlucky superstar on paper, 
the 69 and 70 Lakers, having three of the top five players all time up to that point should have won titles. After being super close in multiple finals against Boston, adding Will Chamberlain to the roster and still not being able to beat Bill Russell Celtics says a lot. 1. The Brooklyn Nets Big 3 an absolute travesty of a tenure, 16 games played together, what an absolute joke of a travesty. All the drama, headaches, distractions, nonsense, bullshit, injuries, plus bad off the court behavior, management, the front office, and ownership, all absolute travesties. And don't forget about Joe Absolute No Show Harris. The big three Arguably the most talented offensive lineup that could have ever been made, huge egos, unreliable, due to Irving's unpredictable mood, unexcusably missing games out of nowhere, team tempted to trade for a reliable star in Harden, who damaged his hamstring and the 2021, end up getting the 2 seed, all 3 dominated worst Boston round 1 at the height of their powers, playing some of the most efficient basketball, by round 2, Harden's hammy no good, Irving's ankle out after game 4, Durant single handedly carried the team all the way to overtime and in short of winning the series, the furthest the Durant Irving era would go, became heavy title favorites 2022, everybody knew a healthy Nets team would easily win it all, but Irving's refusal to take the jab, playing in a liberal state, didn't do him any justice. More noise and speculations, Durant played great with Harden, but after KD's yearly injury, which set him back 7 weeks, a banged up Harden had enough, played like crap to the man out, only for the team receiving a mentally damaged can't shoot diva, with his initials BS, perfect way to sum up the Irving Durant Harden era. All that talent, lots of unfulfilled potential, swept by Boston, Durant failed to get traded summer 2022, the two balled out, even became one of the better teams in the East, till KD suffered the same knee injury, January of 23, the final blow in the coffin, all the blame can be pointed at one or two people, but everybody involved, responsible for the chaos, Nets fans had to endure, no fan base deserved to go through that massive headache, over the ugliness of the failed Durant, Irving, Harden, Josai, Sean Mark and Super Team Era, super unavailable, super super disappointing. Honorable mentions includes Kevin Garnett, Latrell Sprewell, Sam Gasell in 05, D Wade, Rajon Rondo, Jimmy Butler for the 2017 Bulls, and Gilbert Arenas, Antoine Jameson, and Karan Butler's Wizards. Thanks so much for watching this video. What's the most disappointing big three you ever experienced? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more content, more good stuff coming soon. Love y'all. See you next time.